So, I finally met him, Uncle Matt. Should I even call him that? He seemed really nice. Yeah, just managed to uh, stop and get into another fight with Kane. What? Yeah, they seem to really hit it off. What did he say to you? Oh, not much. He basically told me that he didn't have a family anymore. And what happened when he was here? <sighs> I said stuff that I probably should have said a long time ago. Or not at all. So, it, is it true about your mum? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mum. You know, if there was ever a good time to talk about her, maybe it's now. It's not. Then when? Matty. No, Mum, this is what you always do. All the secrets and lies and things nobody needs to know about. That's what's pushed everyone away. Are you finished? Or are you trying to make all of this harder for me? Honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to make any of this harder for you. Mum, I just want you to know that it's OK to let the walls down now and then. I'm really sorry about you, Mum. I'm here if you need me. She wasn't lying, was she? <sighs> Scared the life out of me. What are you doing here? Where's Eve? She's asleep inside. Sarah was worried about you, so she asked, well, she pretty much begged me to come back and help. Oh, I'm fine. What's happened? I've just said. Yeah, I know, but you're lying. Why is Sarah so worried about you? What does this week's car crash look like and who was driving? Me, Chaz. I was driving. I can't believe you're here. Does Paddy know? Uh, I'm here for you. Hey, come on, it's OK. It's not. Oh, babe, I've gone and done what I always do. I got something good and I've flushed it down the toilet. And then after today with Tracy, I may as well have flushed twice. Right, OK, do you want to put a bit more meat on the bones, love? Because you're being quite vague there. Oh, even saying it out loud. I kissed someone that I shouldn't have kissed. Because I'm deranged and now Vanessa's found out and she don't want to see me or hear from me until she's ready. Right, OK, there was me thinking it was something serious. And then that guy I kissed. Tracy just saw me with him now. And he pretty much threw me under the bus. And then reversed over me for a laugh and made it a million times worse. What would you want to hear if you were in her shoes? That's just it, though. She'd never do anything like this to me, would she? Babe, look, I hate to ask, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Will you have the kids for me tonight? Yeah, of course I will, but where are you going? I'm desperate. I need to see Ness, don't I? Tracy's probably already filled her in, but I've got to do something. Right, but what happened to her not wanting to see you? If I was in her shoes, I would want to hear that I am her world, her everything. Without me, she's nothing. So that is exactly what she's going to hear from me. 